Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Let's take a look at water under the foundation. And in this bathroom, these people have major problems. Can you see all that water? They actually tore out some of the wall, and then they cut the floor. And you can see, this is showing you how much water is actually under foundations, especially when there's two homes close together. So how do you solve this problem? I want to show you this is a very easy problem to solve. Although, you know, the inside looks terrible. You can see there's so much water here, but it is really a simple problem to fix. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Another install today, every day. <laughs> this is Monday maintenance day, and actually we're going to do a small repair here. We're going to do a small French drain, add some catch basins. Um, and let me show you what's going on here. Pretty simple problem. Um, but it takes a little bit of work to do, but something you guys can easily do yourself and save truly thousands of dollars. This is from the original estimate, and you can kind of see what's going on here. There's an air conditioning overflow. They tied that into a catch basin, and you, you can see the mud, it just, it goes nowhere. They told this customer that there was a French drain that they installed down under the ground only a year ago. And look at this water. Can you see the water standing here? There's no place for that water to go. So there's no French drain there. Here's the discharge as it comes out to the street. This is kind of normal. There's a flow that does come through it. And you can see as I open up that grate, it's just full of water. So that tells me that there's no French drain because it would have drained out into the soil. So how do we solve this problem? This is John, he's the homeowner. And what he's what what we've decided to do here is we're trying to save money. That's what, a lot of what Apple Drains is, tries to do is save people money. We want to go ahead and replace from here all the way back to the back downspout. And John's agreed to that. It does save quite a bit of money. This is very costly. And it's so sad that whoever put this in, I mean, you can see the water just looking at it. It just never goes away. And I'll actually let John tell you a little bit about it. Yeah, so it, you know, when it was first installed, for maybe like about a month, maybe two months, it seemed like it drained pretty fine. But then after a while, it just seemed like it took longer and longer for the water to sort of evaporate after it rained. And now it kind of feels like there's just like a moat running, you know, throughout <laughs> the side of my house. And I'm always having to hop over all these wet spots just to toss out the garbage or to make my way back to the side of the house. And it just getting harder and harder to actually just walk around my own property yeah it's just so wet all the time so take a look at what happens between homes when it rains hard and there's no drainage you can see the water will fill up between the homes and then it tries to travel underneath of the foundations not just the customer's home but the neighbor's home all along the wall it moves under the foundation causing tons of damage inside the home Here's a view from the other direction. As that water floods between these homes, it travels underground and moves under the foundation of these homes. Once it's under the foundation, it really does damage. Hardwood floors buckle, tiles pop off, and you actually can see water coming through the floor. There's two possible solutions. One is to install footer tile, which you've seen us do many times, where we put gravel perforated pipe all along the footer foundation and then we usually use a sump pump send that out to the street the other is doing what we are doing here today we are working on an existing drainage system there needs to be drainage put down between these homes and basically the most important thing is is to collect that downspout water the gutter water the roof gathers so much water and when you add the downspouts, now you're directing that straight into the area, and that area floods dramatically from the roofs. A French drain is not the solution. It's part of the solution, but the real solution is connecting the downspout drains and adding catch basins. The catch basins collect immediate surface water, so any water that comes through this area drops into the catch basins and is carried away. The French drain, it doesn't work fast enough to collect surface water. It does a great job of collecting subsurface water, water that's underground, but it's not the solution to this problem. What we're doing here today is we're replacing and repairing a French drain yard drain. And we're going to start by replacing 
this downspout extension. This might be the week for downspout extensions, <laughs> but find, find this everywhere. A lot of people try to do this, they put it underground, and it really doesn't work. So what we've done is we've dug the area out. I'm gonna pull this pipe off of here. And you can see how it's just deteriorating completely. We're gonna pull this whole thing out of here. And they actually duct taped it and tied it into corrugated pipe right here with a sock around it and they called this a French drain. And hopefully you can see all of this with the camera. I'm trying to get it all in focus here for you. But I'll start by cutting this pipe off right here. And again, if you look closely, see that? That's just a sock. And it does allow water to get into the system, but there's, it's the wrong kind of application here. So let's cut this. Get into that sock first. And you can see there's the corrugated. Then we can cut all of that off. And I can pull out this whole contraption that they got going on. <laughs> and get rid of that. So now I need to do just a little bit of excavation. And there are there are some sprinkler lines here, as well as, if you can see this, there's control lines here too. So we've got to be a little bit careful. Just a little excavation here. What we're going to do is we're going to adapt from the corrugated with this adapter right here. This snaps into the plate. It's got barbs, snaps on the corrugated. Nice and tight. Then we can run a piece of PVC to our first 90. I haven't made that measurement yet. It's got splash. Let's make that measurement. made a few other cuts. I'm going to hook that guy up. Let me move the camera a little bit so you can see it. A little bit more digging over here on the side. We want, we want this pipe to go straight down into the ground. So that involves a little bit more excavation than just removing the old pipe. This line is very shallow that we're tying into an existing system. And the old system works fine, but it doesn't do its job as a French drain.
And that should be a perfect fit. So the reason I'm coming back this direction rather than going out to the street, can you see all the irrigation? These are control valves and there's all kinds of irrigation right here. So easier to go around it than anything else. Very tight fit. Let me grab the camera. It's on a tripod. Hold on. <laughs> I'm also, I'm also going to switch it around to the other side. Okay, perfect. So you can see, we've got the downspout drain that comes down, comes over, and it goes ties in here perfectly. We are installing a catch basin on an existing line and this is a really good project for the do-it-yourselfer and it's something that's easy to do and you guys can do this without any problem at all. So take a look at this. So what we're doing is we're going to install a double outlet catch basin onto an existing pipe. We're also going to add just a small section of easy flow because there's a little bit of a low spot right here. So this is pretty simple. We're going to start by just cutting this pipe. Then we got to get rid of that sock. Good. Pull that back. And we're just going to snap this in place. It's so simple. You can hear it clicking in place. And this is at the perfect depth when we put on our grate. This is perfect for that water to drop in. Next, we're going to add just a small section of easy flow to help pick up some of that groundwater. And we're going to make a measurement. Perfect. Are we still in the frame? Yes, a little bit. Cut this off. We're going to use an exterior coupling. And basically it just snaps on to our piece of corrugated. A little bit short. I'm going to, it should be just right. I'm going to make another cut. Just snap this guy in place. Perfect. Then you just lift him up. Snap them together. Straighten it up. <clears throat> Pretty simple, right? So basically what we've got is we've got now a surface drain to pick up that surface water. And that's the bulk of the problem here. When it rains hard, the water tries to get down even through this cloth into that perforated pipe. It tries, but it can't do it fast enough. French drain works really good, but it's still slow to grab that surface water. So now we can collect the surface water 
straight away. This little section is done. Let's go down here by Chuck and take a look. Hey everybody. Cutting SDR 35 with a hacksaw takes a little bit of work because it doesn't go all the way through. And you want to have a pretty straight cut. So you want to go as far as you can with the saw. This one I think is only a three and a half inch saw. And you can see it's a little bit more than halfway through. Then you got to rotate it all the way around and hope that you get a very straight cut. Using a sawzall is probably the best way to cut this, um, but we didn't we didn't bring it out. And by the time we hook that up, you've got this done. So you know, it's your choice. If you want to go hook up the extension cord, or maybe you've got one that's uh, battery operated, or whatever. But this works just as well. You can see he's got a nice straight cut, perfect, perfect, perfect cut. We're gonna set that insert down in here. And then we'll set the grade on top of that and it really should be at the perfect level should be just a little bit below the top of or the grade should be just a little bit below grade that's looking good looking really good so now we're just hooking up some more french drain we're using exterior coupling you hear it snap and you come back here you can see we've got a nice piece of easy flow connecting to there old existing drain and it's going to work so good what's been happening here is that the water comes from the neighbor's roof and it just floods this area so bad that john the homeowner when he comes out here you can see his garage let's step back here jake brings his trash out he's just been underwater he can't even you know it's, it's a moat he couldn't even bring his trash out here to the storage area so what we're going to do is extend that catch basin. You got a great close by. I'll grab you one. We want this grate to be just below. So he's going to make a measurement on the pipe where that thing sits. And then we'll cut that SDR 35 off. A little bit tough to do, six inch pipe and it's, it's a scheduled pipe so it's very thick very very thick pipe but we'll get it so we've got a good section of the easy flow in the catch basin we've got some more pipe to install another catch basin right here we're actually going to hook the ac condensation line into this catch basin and chuck's cleaning this out one more section of easy flow to install we'll attach it right here a little bit difficult spot because you had to go underneath of that irrigation to hook up that downspout but it's something that you've got to do it's just part of doing things look at the pile of dirt just to make this one little repair so this will all go back down into ground no worries he's almost got it and we finished up over here we've got the catch basin installed little section of easy flow we brought the PVC out and around from this downspout going around the irrigation tied it into the existing pipe remember we've already cleaned this line back before the first of the year and the lines open but the problem really was that it doesn't collect any water and the reason why is there is no surface drains French drain does not work to collect surface water. You need to have catch basins in order for that to work properly. That looks really good. So you can kind of see we've got the coupling. You've got to push it back this way. Good coupling. And then we're going to do a little piece of corrugated. Then we'll switch over to the PVC. Trying to make these things fit with going from PVC to corrugated. It's not the easiest project, but you can do it. Okay, we're pretty much done here. We're starting to backfill. Remember why we did this. Water was flooding through this area. I mean, the homeowner John couldn't even walk through the area to take his trash to this trash bin. And, but more than that, water was coming up under the home. And the problem was that there was somebody installed 
some type of a drain. They called it a French drain, but it, it wasn't. And the French drain by itself will not solve this problem. If you're trying to collect surface water with a French drain, it just won't work. It's just too slow. You must add catch basins. The catch basins collect immediate surface water. So as it rains and this area would try to flood, it would drop into the drain. It's just that simple. Remember, this is a repair of an existing system. Don't forget, run your downspouts solid if you can, and then you can tie them into your existing system. Some people say don't run the downspout drain through, you know, the French drain. Well, if you've added catch basins, that's going to solve the problem. The debris will drop down into the basin and not stay in the line. This is a great project for the do-it-yourselfer. Granted, you can see it's a lot of work, but wow, can you save some money if you do this yourself. One more quick note. Take a look. This little $15 catch basin will save thousands of dollars. It really, when I say save thousands, not just on the install, but what's been happening is that this area all the way down through here is underwater when it rains. So what do you, where do you think that water goes? It didn't go into the system that was here before. That was, was worthless. So all of that water travels under the home, both sides. Even though this side has a little bit higher, it still goes under the home and it gets up under the floor and causes problem with tile, hardwood floors, the baseboard that runs through here. It's thousands of dollars to repair that. So when I say this little $15 catch mason saves you thousands of dollars, that's where the real savings is. It's not so much on the install, although they saved quite a bit by putting this together here but it's saving the homeowner the problems of water damage in the future. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.